All right, welcome back to Mixit 3. Obviously, we are in the kitchen. That means it's time for uh, what's for dinner. Yes. Right? Yes, it I mean, is. Okay, it's getting mm -hmm. close to dinner time here. Uh, you're about to learn how to make a very tasty comfort food. Uh, my two favorite words, comfort and food. It's yes. an easy weeknight meal that our friend and home chef, Jen Fiore, is about to show us. And there she is. Hey, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> Good to How's see everybody? you. Good to see you. So, yeah, you've you. got a bevy of things uh, right there in front of you on the counter. So, uh, yeah, it's time to ask, what's for dinner? What's for dinner? <laughs> All right, let's do this. It's a Southwest beef bake. And it's one of those one-dish wonders, and I am so excited to share this easy dish. Inside my skillet, if you will, or my saucepan, I already have sautéed two garlic cloves, a half an onion, and lean beef. Okay. okay? And... I wanted to show you the seasoning, so I put in two teaspoons of dried cilantro. And then the next thing that goes right into our beef mix is going to be an entire can drained of black beans. Okay. Then we're going to mix this little lovely up. And we're going to put it into our baking dish and start some layers. Okay? I like layers. Same. Layers yeah. are good. Yeah. Layers <laughs> are the best. <laughs> Especially with every scoop gets a little bit of flavor. So in this baking dish, we're going to have that little mixture. Right. And the beef, guys, took four minutes. Wow. Four minutes to now, become crumbly. Not a lot of time. Now, you used uh, two garlic gonna... cloves on this. Is, this. is is this just to taste or is this like by the book? Um, well, you can always add. OK, but the re <laughs> you know, but the reason why we're going to only stick with two and they're minced very fine is to flavor the beef in layers because you're going to be putting on some salsa verde ah. and that has its own flavor. OK, so we, you know, sometimes people don't want to get too competing and I get it, but you know how the camp of Jen goes. In other it's, words, just say, shut up, know. Cliff. I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Cliff, it's all <laughs> It's never, ever too much garlic. So this mixture here, now why did I do this? Well, you can absolutely mix this in a bowl, too. Right. This is just your sour cream layer, and it's never a pretty sight, but we're just going to keep mixing this. And for those of your friends that have a dairy-free uh, diet, right. mm -hmm. very easy to make because this cream cheese I'm using happens to be dairy-free. That's what I was going to ask okay. if we could swap ingredients, but there you go. We can yes. make it dairy-free, right? Yes, and last night I made the whole dish dairy-free, even with dairy-free cheese. So, there you go. The next layer on whatever cream cheese you want is your salsa verde. I need to be taking notes And you mix this. that nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then you're going to put um, about five ounces, three-quarter cup to a cup of uh, corn. Of Any corn, okay. corn, white, yellow, whatever. Okay. Okay. And then the next... Oops, sorry if I got loud on you, but the next one is going to be one teaspoon of chili. And we're just going to drizzle that across nice and even because I like a little heat cliff. Ah, uh, yes. All right, <laughs> fine. <laughs> and then we're going to put down some chips. Yes, a cup of chips. I'm getting the shepherd's oh. pie feel of this, you know? Yes. <laughs> it's kind almost of. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Last night I used brown rice in oh. the same dish, this brown rice instead of the chips. Oh. So this is what I'm saying. We can play around with this, you guys. Okay. We are not married to any of this. Be, you know, this is our tweakable recipes, if you will. I like that. Okay. Sliced hey, so, so tomato. Wh yeah, while you're laying down the tomatoes, now this is something you can freeze, right? This is a dish you can freeze after it's all done, right? Yes, you can freeze this, but obviously I never recommend you freezing in your glass dish, so I would definitely use it in a tin, okay? Yes. Because the drama of the glass dish coming out cold, going into an oven, you have to put it in a cold oven, warm it up. Mm. That, cracking that Been there, done that? Yeah. Been there, done that. That's me. Gotcha. Such a sad thing. You waste all your ingredients. So mm. then you drizzle your cup of cheese, whatever, dairy free or dairy. Okay. Um, and if you're a house that is not dedicated, you have to have dairy. I recommend a mixture too, if you want to just go a little low because this is a creamier, you know, the dairy is just a little creamier, but right. anyway, and then you just put it in a 375 oven for 20 minutes and that's it. And you're going to get this beauty. Voila. Okay. And <laughs> when you put this all together, time-wise, we're looking at about maybe what, 30 minutes, if that? 
Oh, less. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, even less. The, um, the chopping of the onions and the garlic, uh, two minutes with your knife skills, measuring out your ingredients, and the skillet work is about five minutes. Like I said, you're browning the garlic and the um, onion until it's translucent, which is about a minute to right. two. You're browning your beef, four minutes. Yeah, we really are neck and neck with 30 minutes. Perfect. Bang, bang. Perfect. Amazing. Now, uh, we have to brag a little bit about our friend. Okay, we're running out of time, but we have to say, your cookbook is out. Yes. And who is number one? Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> it made it to number one in new releases, which is huge for as many oh, as 20 million cookbooks are published a year. So when it hit number one for the new releases, I, whew, tears. But then it stayed in the top 100 for days. Wow. So that was really a, a proud moment. And I was going to say, <laughs> it hit number one, like, record time as well too yes. so uh yes congratulations yes. Congrats, jen. jen yes thank you you know and as we thank all you guys. And, as we always say it just happens to be gluten -free. Gluten -free. Gluten -free. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, that's really looking good here for dinner you can send it up our way anytime you get up this way okay yes i will i will see you soon with lots of food <laughs> thank you jen thanks jen bye guys